<laughs> I need to. I need it might to. be a little warm though. All right. Yeah, Dude, can I get some ice cubes then? Or no? No I'm kidding. <laughs> I was about to go get them and I'm like, wait a minute. My girlfriend actually puts ice cubes in her wine. It's disgusting. (laughs) Yeah. um, We should probably break up. (laughs) No, don't do that. That's terrible. Why would you say that? And we're on, everybody. (laughs) I just wanted to impress you. Thank you. I accept. (laughs) Okay. Hey, bartender's not live. Hi. Sorry, guys, I gotta watch this stream. <laughs> hey, I'm uh, in the stream. How was uh, Shadow Tower? I only stuck around for the intro cinematic. It's good. It's Kingsfield. It looks very Kingsfield. Yes. No sprinting. Oh. And repair system. Oh. <laughs> so I'm picking up all these weapons, and it's kind of an interesting system, though. Use your life, use your health to repair weapons. Oh. And then what? that sounds even yeah. worse. Yeah, that does not sound <laughs> well, good. Well, I guess it's, it's interesting. Kind of, it's different. It's, yeah, it, it works. I mean, it that's kind of what you do in Dark Souls. And then what was the other I thing? mean, Bloodborne. Use souls, which kind of is your life. Oh, it's you more can of an trade items yeah. for health potions. <laughs> and health potions are pretty abundant. Okay. I've got over ten at one time. So I spend like all this health, like repairing everything, and get down to like no health. Back and forth. <laughs> it makes healing more worth it. For me. Well, sure. I mean, a lot it's of times really I'm like, don't heal. <laughs> Every potion is a full heal. Oh, okay. And I'm like, if I'm at 50 percent health, I'm like, yeah, not worth healing yet. <laughs> right. And then well, I'll like, like get clustered by some them. enemy. And just they also keep track of all the monsters in yes. that area, so you can. They kill show them you them. the areas, percentage completion, and all that. That's so cool. Like, oh, that's oh. nice. Yeah. I like that. I know there's stuff left in that area. So you'd rather know that you missed something than just assume that you completed everything? Well, it depends. I mean, if the map is good enough, uh-huh. you know, then... Oh, there's no map. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> but in most games, whatever, because, you know, like, I'll, I'll base on, you know, my idea of whether or not I've cleared the area on the map, you know. But yes, I do like to know that I haven't missed anything. Yeah. Because it drives me crazy. <laughs> you have KFC, that's why he's in <laughs> I forget, did we leave off at a point where we would have full healed? No. Uh, yes. You Looks like we're in the sun right now. Yet restored things with your life. We're in the sun? Yeah. Yes. All right. Um, I blame. You've been teleported to the center of the sun. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing a, a sound yeah. check. People are saying that the sound is low. Sound check. 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 Why don't say anything? Spoof. Check. The artwork has oddly old. shaped feet. <laughs> <laughs> well, then we all just stop talking. Yep. Uh, yep. Check. Yeah. Check. Yeah. Check. When we There's stop. No, all, right, all, right, all right. All right. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do that thing where you tell a story one word at a time, okay. one verse at a time. Bill, start. Last hug. Hug. Or I said that one. No, no, no. no, 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 no we've already, no, we've no, already no, failed no, this no, exercise. No, no, Way to go, John. He says pug. Okay. Last pug, pug. <laughs> uh, yes. Most. Pug. <laughs> Killer. Hungry. Castrate. No. <laughs> Worst story ever. Fields. Fallout 4. We haven't got a sentence. <laughs> That's two <laughs> words. There is no sentence. This is, you know, we ramblings of a man. No, I'm done. Yeah, I don't think this is, yeah, this is not working. Technically one was a number. So, how, how's the sound now? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, I don't know, I turned off the stream. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Well. Alright, well, I assume that if it's still bad, someone will say something about it. What uh, What did we actually... We almost all died. Was that last episode? Or that was last episode. Yes. It was two weeks yes. ago. I was sick last week. We're I back. like the, uh, the little thing going back there. My television? Dark sun. <laughs> well, it's got a, a picture. Gonna is there going to be any, like, any movies or anything displayed on there? Yeah, uh, yeah the intro scenes? cinematic for our, <laughs> for our game will be up here. It's unskippable. <laughs> That's amazing. Something like that. Oh, uh, before we do get started, I got another. I emailed back Quest Night people again. Oh speaking boy. of Lightning Bolt, and they had a technical malfunction 
Um, and so we weren't yeah, able to get the team photos the out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. They took our picture. Right. They took our photos and what? They lost them? No, no, no. They just haven't gotten around to it yet. So hopefully they'll get that soon. Okay. I mean, it's like an SD card and you stick it in the computer. Right? Okay. So the technical problem is they technically haven't gotten around to doing it yet. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Great. You'd be a yeah. uh, fantastic producer. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about it. Yeah, yeah. Get on that. All right, so uh, not last week, but the week before, we were, we were in a place and we did some things. Someone someone catch us up. Sure. We were trying to hunt down our supplies and our tanks, which had been stolen from us by a halfling who went and hid in this really strange, alienish sort of place that was like nothing we'd ever seen before. After we rescued the missing camp members, we we're going to be eaten. Yeah. Minor detail. They're not the supplies. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we were running around in that, had some seriously threatening misadventures involving bees and an insect swarm. And, uh, <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you love bees. Someone said, no, I just think they're funny. Yes. I don't love them, they're super dangerous. <laughs> like, um, uh, Stand By Me. <laughs> just like Stand By Me. Just, yeah. Uh, too soon, man. <laughs> is it is it really too soon? Yeah, we we, we, we <laughs> killed a giant flesh total monster years? thing that was guarding a brain, and then we kind of mostly got out of town. I think it ended with Antoria trying to drag Zephus outside so we don't die. So I think you guys had left off in that very last room, where the 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 ooze sentient ooze and fang type monster had leapt out of, and there were a bunch of shattered glass orbs, and there was also your canks with the. Uh, Excuse me, Inixes. I got my Inixes. wildlife mixed Sorry. up. Sorry, I got the, the two Inixes with all of your gear and also an opening out into the jungle. And I had retrieved them. Yes, you had retrieved the Terran explorers who had been waiting outside for you to complete the area. I think I had retrieved my entrails. Mm. Scattered across yeah, yeah. There is, the entire dungeon. There is worth noting you came within three of dying outright. Yeah, yeah it's pretty spooky. That was a pretty dangerous time. Yeah. Well, the number in the corner suggests that you're ninety-seven percent complete with the area. <laughs> mm. Excellent. Wait, there's three percent. Which I'm sure guys. is just enough to uh, convince you guys to spend the entire session looking for that three percent. So I regret having said that immediately. <laughs> well, there was that one room. We there. had that brain. <clears throat> I was trying to show Antoria that water room. That was the last thing I remember. Oh, doing. the water room. Sure. I thought it was the beast room. No, it was the water okay. room. Okay, the water so room. The whirlpool room. Yeah. yeah, the whole like the whole room was made of water. The Texas room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> that is too soon. Yeah, yeah that's, that is too wow. soon. Wow. All right, but we're really not in any <laughs> shape not. for exploring right now. Yeah, let's see. All right, he reluctantly consents to go along, so I guess you lead me to the whirlpool room. Yeah. Sure. All right. Okay, you guys stretch down the hallway, ble bleeding uh, every step of the way. No, oh, a little bit. I'm not that sure. Long. Sure. <laughs> dragging. He, he probably, yeah, he's <laughs> dragging along he's with like his points. body. He's, like, <laughs> he's definitely in rough shape. Sure. Sure. Burn most sure. my heels too. Right. So. Yep. <laughs> All right. And the water room is right where you left it. It is strange and mysterious and is uh, underwater as it seemed before. <laughs> Victoria kind of looks around at it from the outside. Hmm. Can, I, uh, can I investigation check? I sure, guess, absolutely. This is about. Uh, got a twenty-five. Mm. This definitely seems to be a magical effect of some kind, but it's not any kind of magic that you ever uh, witnessed yourself before. Here, actually, I'll <laughs> check. <laughs> <laughs> You opened a beer, probably thought it was dog food. <laughs> that comes out of carbonated. <laughs> Here, I've, I've actually got a soundtrack for this room in particular. Oh, wow. Is that soundtrack to Waterworld? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you disappear. We started a new campaign in a different setting. It's definitely magical. Oh, it's stick a with me. I'm muted chrome. Yeah. Didn't mute the Twitch. There we go. All right. Great. Okay. It's magic of some sort, but I've never seen anything like it. I'm not sure there's much I can do here. <coughs> Both of you give me a perception check. Okay. Uh, <coughs> uh, 
11. Uh, 8. Mm, you guys don't notice anything that out of the ordinary is outside of the. Based? It is not sight based, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll try Keep casting detect that. magic. Sure. Uh, does that reveal anything interesting? It reveals only that you're surrounded by a magical effect of some kind, that you appear to be in a relatively normally sized room for this area, but that the walls and ceiling and floor seem to be coated in maybe not an illusion, but a projection of some kind. Can I make an arcana check to get more information based on sure. what I'm seeing? Yep. Right. Only I had to I'd like to probe there. the earth planet. <laughs> uh, okay. Natural 20. Seriously, Commander? Natural oh, 20. 27 with a natural 20. 27 arcana check. Um, what you're witnessing appears to be not really a spell of some kind, but sort of almost an environment. Almost like you're in a terrain that's just soaked in some kind of a magical effect. Give me another perception check. Uh, 14. 14. Just Antoria this time, sorry. Oh, sorry, okay. Um, the nature of the fact that it's infused into the walls and the ceiling and doesn't appear to be coming from something suggests that maybe this is just what this stuff is made of. Maybe this is just something that has magic as a part of it. to figuring out what this is, but I still haven't learned anything particularly useful. <clears throat> um, am I still... Oh, last time I was in here, I was... Freaked, freaked out. out. You feel a little settled. Okay. I'm You're gonna... with your buddy now. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's gonna be okay. Alright, big time. <laughs> the rest of you guys are off in the uh, grass, uh, or the glass uh, really globe chamber, is that right? Else to do um, the broken one? Yes. The one that leads outside, I think. Yes. Yes. Okay. The Terrans uh, seem eager to leave this place. They are unsettled by its alien contours. Um, I understand. I need to rest. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Barely standing. Maybe we should find a safe place to set up camp, but we probably don't want to go too far from them in case something happens. Do you guys want to go ahead and try and find a safe place to set camp, and I'll go get them and make sure they're all right? What we've seen, what we've done. All right. I don't disagree. Okay. Since I don't think the Terrans want to be here any longer. So we're going to do that, then I'm going to... Okay. I'm going to go try and find them. It seems unlikely, but maybe we should approach the question after we've rested. So you guys are going to start looking for a place to uh, make camp? We're chilling near the... Just Not waiting in that case? While he goes and grabs these two. Okay. With the plan. Alright. All right. Do you know which room it is that they're in? I don't think I do. Give me an investigation check. <laughs> <laughs> Seven hours later. He's, <laughs> He's really good at this. Ooh, investigation. Where is that one? Ant. Ant. Hmm. Perception? No. no okay. Investigation. Wait. Ten! Ten! I ten. got a ten. Yes. Alright. <clears throat> you open a door and find only darkness beyond it. Mm. However, you do hear something inside. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna shut the door. Okay. <laughs> hmm. I think I'm gonna keep looking because I don't think that was them. There sure. would be a light in there or something. <laughs> I don't know. You guys think some weird stuff happened? I'm just gonna do that thing where I like put my hands up and just <laughs> like, back, back away. away. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that was the right way. Um, guess I'll try and look again. Um, at our oh, fuck, worse. Back where we are, whatever. I'm gonna reach out and like try and touch the water. Okay. It feels just like water, as a matter of fact. It feels like you're just splashing your hand through a fountain. Yeah, can, I, can I penetrate the you can. surface? Yep. I'm going to try that. See. Sure. Aside from the fact that it's, you know, mur- uh, I didn't say murder. <laughs> <laughs> Murdering I just, you. It's, <laughs> your arm far <laughs> off. <laughs> Aside from the fact that it's traveling up the wall, it seems to work uh, to feel and move exactly like water. What's up, Barrett? But I did worse on my next investigation oh, yeah? check, so I think I'm going to call out their names this time, trying to find them. Okay. They're like, Antorias! Zethus! Where are you? We need okay. to get going! I oh, hear a bunch of bees. Cool. Do I hear a bunch of bees coming? As a matter of fact, you do not. Okay. 
Um, I keep, like, do I feel an end to this water? Like, no. Keep... Not, I mean, are you putting your whole arm in? Yeah. Okay. No, it submerges pretty much the entire way. You don't hit an edge or a, a floor or anything like that. Right. No. Or he's watching closely, but he's not touching the water himself at this All point. Right. Okay. I pull my arm up and I like, stick my face in it. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay. It's cool to the touch. Yeah. Is it water going up your nose? <laughs> well, well, it's not like streaming, like a, okay. like a rapid or something like that. It's f- like uh, like an automated fountain speed or something like that. It's oh, not completely okay. still, but it is moving. You do realize that any other dungeon you would have got like cursed or <laughs> yeah, or... yeah. I have fun. I have John's new character like, right here. Okay. That's, that's the whole fun of it. It's um, do I see anything on the other side? Like mm-hmm. no, just it just, water, it just sort of see. darkens. Uh, off into the distance. Okay. Giant shark. Yeah. <laughs> just, like, bites you. <laughs> Pulls you. Alright. I, I tell him I'm in there. This seems like an endless pool of water in this room. It's, that is fascinating in its own right, but there's not much we can do with it. <clears throat> Alright. Well, I guess we should join the others. Alright. Barrett, what did you roll for your investigation? Six! Six! Yeah. You open a door and a spider jumps <laughs> out. Oh, <laughs> 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 Sweet. <laughs> it's uh, about the size of a pillow. Uh, what's your AC right now? Uh, fifteen. Fifteen. It just ne- uh. Bear- Where's my sound? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, it, you flinch away just barely. Uh, uh, Some of that three percent. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's everyone else doing? Uh, we're heading back. Out. Okay. Yeah, we decided to head back. Okay. Uh, now that you're in the hallway, you hear the sounds of what sounds like one of your friends being attacked by a giant spider. Uh, <laughs> and Tori heads that way. Okay. He's just around the corner, just oh. standing there in front of a giant spider. Yep. <clears throat> right. uh, initiative, I guess? Sure. Yeah. Rat. Crap. Between <laughs> two older stats. <laughs> And my stats are still the same from level uh, 6, so yeah. that works out fine. Problem is I don't know what my health total is at right now. Assume bad. Well, I was in bear form, so I don't think it was that bad. That's true. You're probably at full hit points, but no bear form. Left. Yeah, I think I might be. And Tori, what did Ten. you get? 10. 10. Zathus? 10. 10. I'm going to assume you have higher dexterity than Toria. Yeah, that's a good bet. Barrett? 10. <laughs> but I'm the lowest for sure. <laughs> that, that is, did you guys call each other awesome. before you went to the dungeon? <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a natural 10. So there okay. You go. <laughs> well, impossibly, the spider goes first. It actually retreats back into the darkness. Oh. The door does not uh, sphincter close, however. Oh. Zathus? Uh, I suggest we leave immediately. Antoria? I will. You hear a suggestion from Zathus. <laughs> <laughs> I will uh, hold a. Uh, I will move back 30 feet away, but I will hold Melf's acid arrow as an action if the spider reappears again. Okay. I Baron. agree with their assessment, and I will back away 30 feet. Okay. And then I guess I'll ready a, uh, <clears throat> a flame, produce flame, if, okay. it, if it shows up again. Okay. Everyone give me a perception check. Sight For based. just those three. It is not sight based, as a matter of fact. Uh, Ooh, natural, natural one. one. <laughs> natural one. <laughs> uh, 18. 18. Natural 20. So natural 20. That's like 26. You hear a great deal more skittering coming from the, do- uh, from the door. Uh, Zavis? Leave now. Mm-hmm. I turn and run. Antoria? Uh, I will turn and run. Double action. Barrett? Yeah, I'll action. follow their lead. <laughs> You guys reconvene with the rest of the team and the Terrans. Okay. We need to go now. Hi there. <laughs> what? Uh, there may be a number of spiders coming our way. <laughs> Is there a door to the room hmm? that we're in? Oh, uh, you guys didn't hear it. I heard more spiders <clears throat> coming out of that doorway. The door is open. <laughs> yes. uh, Can I attempt to close it? Uh, you how? It's one of those sphincter type doors. Do they not that... all had sphincter buttons? Oh, there is a button, yes. You can yeah. touch the button. Yeah. It doesn't touch do anything. It usually just makes and... it open again. Just wait and it should close <laughs> if we can keep them away from it for that long. Well, has it been open this whole time? Or... It has, actually. Oh. Mm. <clears throat> okay. give, me a per- give me a perception check. All right. <clears throat> mm. Eight. Mm. All right. Well, let's get moving then. 
in. Yeah. I agree. Let's I begin just, to like, shoot go. people out of the the hole in the wall. Ah! The Enix is in the Don't room. have to tell me twice. Yeah, we should go. Tell yeah. starts gathering up the group. Yeah, Enix is seem eager to get on the road. Yep. All right. You guys disappear into the jungle? Yep, at least for a little bit. All right. Looking for a place to rest, though. Sure. Uh, everyone give me a perception check. Let me know when it's safe. Nine. <laughs> okay, I will. <laughs> Well, I don't, I don't want to get in the habit of asking. No, no, that's fair. Natural one. 19. 12. 12. Nine. The spiders don't seem to have pursued you. They seem to have stopped at the edge of the jungle and then crept back into the ruins. Jerks. Right. They got to their leash. From the, the number, <laughs> the number <laughs> ticks up to 100%. Yeah. Oh. Excellent. All right. You got an achievement for exploring the entire area. <laughs> yes! Yes! Are we getting XP for that? No. Did you say we get an achievement? Yeah, <laughs> it's our first one we've unlocked. Yeah, really. <laughs> well, you got you never look at that menu. Maybe there's oh, stuff in there. Yeah, that's yeah. Exactly. Yeah. All right, everyone, give me a survival check to try and find a place to, to rest. I'm good at that. Uh, uh, natural like twenty. Oh, I'm I'm find a holiday in <laughs> <laughs> at this branch. I got a twenty-three. I actually tied him on a natural twenty. Sure. <laughs> I mean, uh, that should I think be enough to conclude that you guys find what looks like a relatively defensible glade and uh, decide that your party can probably set up shop there for a requisite eight hour stay. Alright. Good to you. Marcus yeah. This seems like a good area. Are you? Let's rest. Good. <laughs> is it the so area this is one of my favorite things. <laughs> is it the area where they tried to cook our friends earlier? <laughs> no, that's back behind you away. Okay. I mean you could go backwards. No. No. One. No. Uh, are you guys setting a watch order? The rest of you are in pretty rough shape. I'll take first watch. I can do second. Well, there is a pretty decent stew prepared for us back there. <laughs> nice pot full of... Wait, never mind. Those are my friends! <laughs> 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 well, I hear chicken's pretty good. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, sound like Marvin. <laughs> Come on, druid. All right, all right, all right. Well, this is the druid oh, who likes fireballing barkeepers. <laughs> what happens if you turn into a bear and then we chop off like an arm <laughs> and start to eat that arm but then you shape shift back into a human there's no conservation of mass because like a human could shape shift into a t-rex yeah so i guess you, and the damage would just be gone when you go back to human maybe if stomachs, saying, like, i think your stomach's just empty out food. 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 we can that's literally eat yeah. it forever <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a survival yeah, mechanic see, your eyes are lighting <laughs> just up make now. a paraplegic bear just kind of yeah. rolling around ba barrett is now a survival mechanic so <laughs> but when he shifted back the arm would vanish even if we had eaten it, so we'd be hungry again instantly. Do you think it would? <laughs> I think it would. What if you threw the nutrients? <laughs> if we had the energy, then it would just disappear. Yeah. I think 30 minutes to digest. I think it then you're hungry again. That's yeah. true, because the energy that you've already used from the consumption would not be able to go away. Hmm. So the trick is to do would... whatever it is that you want to do with that energy as soon as possible. Yes. yes. Ignoring the trauma that you're inflicting on your mm -hmm. traveling yeah. Indeed. Ooh, and then no, but then if you yes. <laughs> you go to some dark places, but then the fecal matter that you have, like you can you can code hidden messages. Well, why don't we even have to have him turn into a bear time. anymore? Just have him turn into a, like a a, a cow. A steak. Like, just, just yeah, just go, go right. But when you expend <laughs> energy to get the energy back, when that you can go negative energy. I think you'd because you have to get a lot of negative karma. But then, it, yeah, it goes back, so you revert to less energy. You can just or die. does it undo the things that you've done, thus creating a time <laughs> so, what was what was We discovered time and try travel and at this. What was the chrono trigger? Learn how to travel through what was time the chrono trigger? Speed regular time. Yeah, it was, uh, <laughs> you recover your HP and MP, but you're still hungry. Mm -hmm. yep. Well, you're not going to recover HP that way. <laughs> you're just going to become. Right. Very, uh, very bad order people. Was, was, <laughs> was Antoria first, uh, Marcus second. We didn't have a third yet. Uh, well, I guess that's it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. No. I could, I could take, I could take third watch or last watch or whatever watch we need. Alright. Seems like the Just order, three then? then? Uh, could use one more. I can't. I need, I really need the full eight hours. Also, I'm the worst person to have on watch ever. Well, you get the full eight hours. What's the name of the leader happens. of the Terrans again? I guess it's Telak. Uh, we'll ask Telak if he's willing to set forth watch. Uh, give me a diplomacy check. <laughs> Can I skew at survival by pointing out the condition of the rest of us for medicine, even? Sure. All right. 
anything but charisma spells. <laughs> <laughs> uh, twenty. Wow. Oh. Well, certainly. Thank you guys you. have stuck your necks out. Oh, kind of. Sometimes. <laughs> kind oh. of. Yeah. Thank you. Do we need you guys to get back on floor? We didn't uh, rescue uh, your companions. I'm still not sure where that fireball came from. This, this is give me give me some time to reflect on that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, first watch, give me a perception check. Okay. Uh, Ooh. seven. Seven? Nothing. Who's on second? <clears throat> Seventeen. Seventeen. You hear the sound of drums off in the distance. Oh, during second watch, can I identify the two potions we found on the shop? Sure. Alright, cool. <clears throat> Can I see anything? Where is the only? Uh, it's pitch black outside. You're surrounded I have by dark vision. You f- <laughs> <laughs> but you're surrounded by very thick foliage, both above and uh, around you. The canopy reaches up at least a hundred feet. Is it is it fair to say that I hear this like as I'm starting my watch and before he goes to sleep? <clears throat> I would say that you probably take notice of it maybe halfway through your okay. watch. Um, if this is a, it's during second, uh, then I guess Antoria is still awake. Yeah, because I'm doing the identification. Sure. Oh, um, you're awake during my watch? Yeah. When this happened? But it's, you take notice of it, and you're not quite sure whether it's been going for a little while or it just started. It's okay. Just, you just suddenly notice. Okay, I'll that keep, sounds like drums. I'll keep the near on it and mention it to Antoria, assuming you're awake. I'm, I'm awake. If I was smart, I would have put up, like, some buttons. <laughs> I could have just started playing drums at low volume or something like that. <laughs> maybe another time. I okay. just don't need to sleep. Um, <laughs> Notably, I do already have all my spell slots. Actually, John, you're not doing anything. Could you could you drum a little bit for us, please? Yeah, yeah. It's a good groove. All right. Yeah. Um, There's a lot of syncopation out in the jungle somewhere. <laughs> I'll keep my ears open for it to get like noticeably very close. But okay. I don't really do anything about it, and then whoever's on third watch. Sure. Okay. Fair. Then I'll mention it to him as we swap. Well, hopefully if our quiet will go past us and nothing will happen. Hopefully if we're come quiet. Over. Yeah. <laughs> Got our mage over Did you guys there. keep it down? I'm oh, trying to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're drumming. That's the problem. Oh, that <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. We started Stop that, guys. <laughs> hey, I didn't know you guys had any rhythm. <laughs> <laughs> we got to talking, you know. <laughs> We start our own band, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Adventuring Adventuring life. Life. The kinks are swaying back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> it's the band of truth. <laughs> Was that the lion sleeps tonight? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, now we got it going. We got to take this act on the road. <laughs> oh, we um, um, okay. <laughs> Moving on. You've uh, found a potion of climbing. And a potion of greater healing. And greater healing is how much? 44. Mm. Last time it was 2d8 plus 2. Do we want to change the other one to uh, <laughs> 44 points of healing? <laughs> I think you said 4d4. Four four. Like, yeah, 44. Yeah, 44. Yeah. <laughs> wait. wait. <laughs> I think I, think I remember you were saying you were guessing at it last time when you said it was 2d8 plus 2. No, four. there's, I mean... Really? Do you have it like right there? I have it written down as 2d8 plus 2, but I also remember you saying you were guessing at it. Well, that's a pretty close guess. 2d8 and 44 are pretty close to one another. <coughs> um, let me just find exactly what it is. because There is a table right here. If it's like my cure wounds, it's probably d8. There. Uh... 44 plus 4. Yep. Okay, I will convert the other over then. Well, this is 48. Mm-hmm. <laughs> potion of climbing. When you drink this potion, you gain a climbing speed equal to your walking speed for one hour. During this time, you have advantage on athletics checks to make you climb. Okay. Well, we already have an advantage on athletics. That part doesn't really do anything. Double advantage? No. Yeah. It's kind of like drinking Dayquil if you're already a naturally awake person. <laughs> 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 One hour. That's not how it works. Right, right. <laughs> okay. Cool. All right. <clears throat> All right. And I, do 
I hear the drums too? Uh, once your companion points them out to you, yes. Okay. I'll make note of them, but I will head this way. If something else happens, <clears throat> so. Maybe right. time. Okay, bears on third. Yeah, I'm gonna try and pay attention to see if the drums <laughs> okay. are getting closer or not. Okay, give me a perception check. Sure. Uh, pretty good. Twenty. <clears throat> they do not, in point of fact, appear to be getting closer. Okay, then I'm not gonna. However. Oh shit. Halfway through your rest, they noticeably stop. <coughs> Is there any way I could tell about how far off they seem? Basically? Sure, give me a perception check. <laughs> Natural one on that mm. one. <laughs> They're probably pretty far off. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't need to worry about those at all. Alright. <clears throat> well, I guess that's that. <laughs> Clap. <laughs> Did you just clap to turn the jungle off? No, I just, I just <laughs> <laughs> jungle off. <laughs> okay. All right. Yep. <clears throat> Going to sleep. Uh, that scene to my watch. I'll get. Um, I'll get a. Uh, oh, what was his name? Talak. Talak. Yes. All right. Talak begins his watch. All right. <clears throat> the night is dark. It's definitely dark. All right, you guys uh, wake up uh, the next morning, refreshed and inexplicably sixth level. Right. Yeah. So we basically get all of our hit points back <laughs> and everything else, yeah. except for our um, hit dice. You only get half of those back. Half of like the current level. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Three. three. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Oops. Which might, which it should be <laughs> most of them anyway, but. I've got a rousing speech to give to everyone. The Terrans are gone. Ah! Wait, all of them? All of them. Even Telak? Even Telak. And what about the gear and the animals? They appear to be gone as well. Son of a bitch. I've got a rousing speech to give everyone. <laughs> Make it a quick one this morning. We have a problem. It's going to take about 10 minutes, I think. <laughs> everyone give me a perception check. Okay, that's right. You can do Sight based? Mm, 13. 18. 9. Uh, 6. 8. Closer by, I assume? Very close. <laughs> that sounds like it's like on top of us. Yeah. <laughs> Does it sound like 10 minutes away? <laughs> <laughs> There's only one way to find out. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Uh, well, I, I'm going to give my speech if people listen. <clears throat> All right. Less people, are, less people are worried. I'm not worried. I'm not worried. No, you guys are all cool with this? Sure. So yeah. I, I was thinking last night, and it just dawned on me, and, you know, sometimes these things just pop in my head. Like, I, I can't really explain it. It actually started back when I was a, a younger child, and I think I was, like, the age of six or ten when I first cast my first spell. But anyway... So I was thinking about Victoria this. Victoria starts looking for tracks. I was thinking about this, and uh, the concept one. of... Kind of distracted by all the noise. Pulling things towards me. And if I had these orbitals surrounding me at will, I could Did the dumb hurl spell? those with only the concentration Can I another investigation in check my at this mind. Point? It's been about another sure. couple minutes. So <laughs> I'm thinking uh, I could... Twenty-five to cast a spell, some motion, you know, a the foliage around you, and then I can also shoot these rocks out at the same time. So my plan is I use the sending to go stone forward. To send them a message. We're I'm going to, I'm going to be able to cast okay. spells while okay. these Not things okay. are hurling then I will cast through invisibility. the world, smashing down on my enemies. <clears throat> so what you guys need to do is just stay out of my way. Okay. See, I do a, is that the end of the speech? That's, a, that's the end of Bear the speech. Bear claps. Bravo. I use stealth <laughs> to try and uh, hide. Thank you. There's actually quite a bit of applause. There's a, a little bit of... <laughs> it appears you've entertained quite a large audience, as a matter of fact. 25 on stealth to hide. Sure. Well, it's worth... <laughs> is it still 10 HP or... It is 10 <clears throat> it's worth noting that I can only help out six creatures, and I have to choose them. <laughs> <laughs> they, do, they do not get the house. <laughs> They're if you enrage them. Uh, give me a perception check. Anyone? Yeah. 
Sight based. Sight based. Uh, yes. Yeah. Actually, this one is sight based. <laughs> All right. Fifteen. Yeah. Double one. <clears throat> Eighteen. Um. Thirteen. Captivated as you were by Marvin's rousing speech, uh, you've somehow failed to notice the enormous T-Rex who seems to loom over you. There is a mask halfling sitting on top of his head, likewise captivated by whatever it is that you just said. <clears throat> In the trees around him, there appear to be maybe a hundred, maybe two hundred halflings all of them wielding spears and similarly painted in the savage, barbaric uh, paint of the forest ridge. Um, I will uh, I will approach this T-Rex and try to envoy, is that a word, envoy with them? Be, That's become a, an envoy? not a verb. Yeah. <laughs> can, I, can I envoy with them? You can try, give me an envoy check. <laughs> I would like to... The envoy with them. I as an envoy. As an envoy. I like to use words. I have no idea how to use them. In yeah, me too. Because <laughs> then you learn how to use them. Or you and then eat. the next group of friends sure. thinks you're smart. <laughs> Too late. What did you get for your envoy check? Um, Sixteen. Uh, sorry, seventeen. For diplomacy. <laughs> Did I kill him? He got cut short a little bit there. <laughs> I, I thrust my spear into his voice box. <clears throat> the the T Rex looks nonplussed as well, it I'm roars in your face. That's what you said you were doing. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knows that yeah, if you're envoying yeah. properly, you're doing it to a Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> Come on, get with the program. Oh man, <clears throat> I'm assuming they're willing to talk because they haven't attacked us yet. <clears throat> Right. Well, right. on that on that subject, the red feather uh, go, uh, clad halfling sitting on top of the T Rex raises a hand, and all at once they seem to pour out of the sky like a sandstorm. Every single one of these halflings leaps uh, over you, throwing ropes and nets and all manner of binding type weaponry. <clears throat> you, on the other hand, are uh, you you are hidden and you are invisible, but you are still in the general area. I will use shield has which wait that's not an attack spell. <coughs> well, I'm definitely moving towards the there. edge of the clearing. Hmm. Okay. As stealthily as possible, while I look up to see if I can cast shield. Mm -hmm. Let's say this: I'll make attack rolls on the area, and we'll give you guys a bonus um, to avoid getting hit based on the fact that you've taken defensive measures. Okay. Sound good? Mm -hmm. Sound good. We have advantage as well. Well, I'm going to make an attack roll yeah. oh. and determine whether or not they get you or not. Okay. Well, as a matter of fact, both of you seem to manage uh, to slip out of the fracas. The remaining three of you, however, are bound and gagged. Mm. Do I get a bonus action? <laughs> I think he wants what to turn into a bear. No. No. Oh. no, I might want to turn into something way smaller than a bear. Do you want to do something right now? Yes. Or then just uh, say that you want to do something right now. <laughs> do I get a bonus action? <laughs> <coughs> sorry. Um, I am. Are you going to try an envoy? <laughs> <laughs> I would like to envoy. Um, All right, give me an envoy check. <laughs> um, I don't know if I have a... Yeah, I mean, everyone's welcome to try things. But... Do I have a creature that can burrow? The snakes can, like... I don't know if the snake form I have can burrow. Does it have a burrowing speed? I don't... And that answers your question. That information... All right. Well, so, I'll just turn into a snake. It should be small enough to get out of the burrow? out of the bindings and stuff. <clears throat> what? How how would a snake burrow though? Snakes dig holes. I, I, I mean, how long does it take them to I, dig a hole? I don't About know. ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been a snake, so I don't know. Okay, you shift into a snake. All right. What kind of snake are you turning into? The smallest one I can. Burrow and what is that? An asp, I believe. An asp. Yes. Okay. I don't know the stats handy, sadly. You manage to slither out of uh, the halfling's grasp. They <laughs> you disappear into the brush. Can do. <clears throat> Marcus will resist as best he can without actually retaliating. Just stand there while they're like trying to pull his arms <laughs> behind him. Just like... Give me an envoy check. <laughs> you have an advantage. Oh, on I have that. advantage on this. Yeah, yeah. Certainly. Wow. 
Oh, how'd you get advantages to Envoy check? He actually has points in Envoy. <laughs> oh, man. Smart. There you go. 25. 25? It takes a while for them to bring down a brood of your sort, but given that they were expecting five targets, now they only have the two. Maybe 75 of these little critters now just aim themselves at you. Fair enough. Hit them more for it. Marvin, are you doing anything in particular? So is it very clearly overwhelming odds? It like, seems kind of overwhelming. Yeah. <laughs> 100 to 1, pretty overwhelming. 100 to 2. <laughs> I mean, it was less overwhelming a moment ago, but then you were abandoned by your friends. <laughs> yeah, friends mean, is such a strong... That's, yeah. Yeah. And by Zathus. Yeah, that's, yeah. Um, I'm good, thanks. Uh, yeah, that's not the first time this happened. At least my true friend here, <laughs> over, Marcus... Just let myself in. <laughs> he didn't leave me. That's true. He needs, well, kind of, he needs some moral support. He's kind of dumb-minded. Yeah, I was going to say, what's your total? <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I didn't think it was that bad. It's actually, I think, the second highest edge of the party. It's All right, like honest. a pair of grotesque saddlebags. That's You're lashed 14. together and yeah, thrown over the T-Rex, which stomps into the, the jungle, and the horde of halflings follow behind. I love that. Did they disarm us? They did. Did they take my little scepter? Yes. I would like to follow them. The guy with the red feathered mask is now waving it about. <laughs> <laughs> this is mine now! Are we next to each other? You're hanging on opposite sides of a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Oh, we're on the sides. Yes, okay. like saddlebags. Is this uh, like a full-sized T-Rex? It's big. It's actually, it actually, it looks noticeably larger than the one that you. It's uh, a dire T-Rex. <laughs> that, that you confronted right, a couple of levels this is ago. Important. Does it have feathers or it not? It does not have feathers. Sorry, I thought we were talking about T-Rex. And it's a predator, not a scavenger. Whoa. Dinosaur opinions. Okay, um, You're slithering off. To I'd follow? actually like to, yeah, attempt to follow. We're gagged. We can't okay. see anything each other, right? I'm also attempting to follow. You can say things through your gag. No! <laughs> yeah, okay. I try and, um... That was a rousing speech. Sending stones <laughs> to Antoria uh, to find him. And okay. So I, he's invisible, obviously. <laughs> And <laughs> Obviously. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I can't see him. <laughs> I think they're only one per, per, per pair, and I already used them to warn you about That's the right. Okay, so is that what it is? Yeah, they won't work a second time okay. today. Well, then Battery's got to recharge. I am by myself. <laughs> I am by myself in the jungle. Do I see either of them? Mm -mm. Oh, can I look? Yes. Okay. Uh, 17. You don't see either of them. Then I follow the halflings alone, is all I can do. But I, uh, am I, how far <laughs> behind am I already, the halfling? Train. Uh, a little ways. Like at least a hundred feet. Yes. I will noisily break a few sticks as I'm moving to try and call attention to the fact that I'm there, but only okay. for people relatively close by. So not for jungle predators. <laughs> <laughs> for people within like say fifty feet. Jungle predators not allowed. <laughs> yes. yes. Exactly. Got um, it. Okay. As soon as I see these guys get thrown off, wherever I'm going to spend like let's say two minutes searching the area trying to find Antoria and. Okay, if you guys are actively trying to find one another, then yeah. I'd say you guys just bump heads and go, oh, there you okay. are, there you are. All right. Yeah. You guys realize that if Marcus hadn't been captured, you guys would probably just be moving on. <laughs> like, I, I kind of feel like... <laughs> <laughs> we, would, like no, we would still make it back <laughs> <an> effort. <laughs> I, I would try and rescue you. Oh, oh, man, I don't know where they went. <laughs> <laughs> you, you've got the checkbook. So. Yeah. No, no, he knows where the area of truth is. It's our base. Oh, that's true, that's we true. We have to be able to find it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're How else will you get home? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you could just live anywhere else <laughs> that has a door. That we can actually get to. Even yeah. if that door is a sphincter. <laughs> okay, so you find one another. Okay. We should follow them and see if we can do something about this. Uh, I don't know what. <clears throat> Odds are not in our favor. Let's see if we can think of something. <clears throat> I'm, I'm uh, concerned about what happened to the Terrans. Seems obvious they were taken by this bunch, but we won't know until we follow them. Mm -hmm. Without supplies and our friends, we're in pretty dire straits as it is. But for them to be, have been taken... Well, I mean, we're going this whole time. Sure, yeah, sure. But, <laughs> but for them to have been taken and not aroused Barrett, us give me a perception check. Sleeping, Can do. It seems... It is strange. strange. Oh, pretty good. It seems to me more like they... You notice the Antoria is off in the night. Okay. I'll slither up to them and a snake attacks. <laughs> I'm not gonna shape initiative. Shape, but can I like write in the sand? I guess. How? 
That's a snake. <laughs> With your snake. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sand yeah, right right in you, I, snakes have tails. I can like strike Wait, the sand. You, have you don't have a prehensile right. tail. Yeah. Did we determine? Is, is, there, is there a lot of sand in the rainforest? In There's the general, not. Like, There's some mud. Okay. Is there no concept of some like identifying mark for every form? He has a bunch like, of rings oh, all over his body. That's true. Oh, okay. He is, he he like, is without rings. a doubt, the most blinged out snake in the jungle. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, I have a ring on me. How's okay. that? Yeah. Oh, sure. So you escaped too. See, this little bit of treasure has just slithered up to you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know this stuff just came to you. Spent all my time trying to take it. <laughs> Polo. I come to the rainforest more often. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to shift it back. This is the only stealth we'll keep, one I got. We'll keep so. following the snake right. with the ring behind us, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, I'll try and track our friends, and I'm just going to lead the way through the I bush. mean, you, you We were could... following a giant dinosaur and a hundred halflings, right? Well, yes. <laughs> Probably okay to follow them with It is, easily, yes. Right? Okay. Sure. Uh, so, Marvin and Marcus, you are brought to a massive stone pyramid and set on the very top of it, and the halflings surround it, all chittering, very, very excited. As a matter of fact, Telak and most of the other Terrans seem to be sitting up here, although the Inixes and the gear are not here as well. They're likewise bound and gagged. Okay. So Telak's not behind us. <laughs> Point of order. Is, is, it a, is it a pyramid or a ziggurat? It is a pyramid. Okay. I'm just confused on how they're on the top of a pyramid. <laughs> it's a pyramid. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> okay. Western pyramids did have flat tops. Okay. I thought those were still called ziggurats. They're not. They're called pyramids. All right. So now we've located where we are. Yes. A the west. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sure. Yes. yes. We're in the Aztec country. And the dark sun here, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is it, if it, can I, I'd like to make a perception check maybe to see what they plan to do with us. Sure. Or not be more investigation. Let's move this. Is the way up to the pyramid clear? It, uh, there's not a path oh. or anything like that, no. You were prepared. Oh, yes. All right. Uh, <clears throat> well, there are, looks like there are four paths up. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I've got an eight. Okay, so... Here, no, Even though with an eight, you can see that the place that you're now standing is uh, caked in blood. Well, I understand there's a cake up there. Can I assume there. ritual sacrifice or some, something of the sort? No, maybe. 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 There are skulls and bits of sinew, and Telak seems eager to leave. He <laughs> 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 never did like that. <laughs> got like a rubber band around his snout. Ooh. He's substitute snake. <clears throat> uh, just out of curiosity, how long did it take to get here? That matters for my shape shape. Uh, this would have been for you guys about forty five minutes of tromping through the jungle. You guys got here, uh, Marcus and Marvin got here in about half an hour. Okay. So questions regarding spells. Uh, yes. When something is verbal, do I need to clearly utter the words? Uh, hmm. Let me check. That's my understanding, but let's let her okay. check. Uh, do I have any semblance of whether there's like I guess it's not verbal. verbal. Most spells require the chanting of magic of mystic words. The words themselves aren't the source of the spell's power. Rather, the particular combination of sounds with specific pitch and resonance sets the threads of magic in motion. Thus, so, a character who is gagged or in an area of silence can't cast a spell with a verbal component. Right. So, if you're gagged, that's out. Uh, and then S is uh, semantic. semantic. Gestures yeah, and gestures. Stuff. So, uh, presumably, if I was bound, I wouldn't be able to. Move my check. hands. I have to Pretty very hard. much be just in the ground. Okay. Uh, Six feet uh, under. <laughs> you must have one too. free hand. One hand that you can freely use and gesture with. Okay. Restrained isn't enough to stop it, but being totally bound up like a yeah. crust pig probably does yeah. it. And I'm assuming it's like a hands behind back sort of thing? Yes. Is there any sort of order to what's happening, the commotion around us, or is it kind of just <clears> random <throat> right now? Well, the big guy leading the uh, T-Rex seems to have uh, ascended at least partway up the pyramid. He's the only guy that's actually on the pyramid. Um, floating above the pyramid is yet another halfling wearing a mask. This one with enormous horns she seems to be borne aloft by some mystic energy. Oh. I've got <laughs> <laughs> what have you brought me? Where's the T-Rex, by the way? 
the T Rex is milling about at in in between right where here. you guys are, as a matter of fact. <laughs> he's here. like w- he's behind us. Hey, what are you guys doing? <laughs> <laughs> hey, how you doing? <laughs> It's bigger than this, no. but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. So I've got a plan, Marcus. Oh, no. Can we talk to each yes, other? Yes. The, the plan is you lean in for a kiss, <laughs> but then instead of kissing me, you actually like take my gag out. <laughs> Why are you saying With a gag, gag in my mouth? With a gag in your mouth. Okay, I execute. Marvin. <laughs> <laughs> we, we had actually planned this for like that was plan C. Like I was saying, when he hears C, execute C. computer blue <laughs> halfway. Computer blue. You, you guys had blue all these pro. plans set up in case each yeah, any of these situations occur. Oh the red the I mean, red feather halfling hunter love? waves your gold scepter in the sky and says, "Intruders! They killed my brother my in the ancient out. city." Shake my head no. They must ser- <laughs> face judgment. He shakes his head yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just the diversion we need. <laughs> the halflings cheer. They're all about some judgment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so how high up are these individual steps here? Uh, each... Dark line is a so each uh, sorry, um, each blue uh, step is another five feet up. Okay. So it, if you had a climb speed, it would be trivial to just scamper right on up. Pretty much. Hmm. Okay. Well, yeah, I guess so. Okay. Cool. Yeah, like if you're a giant spider or something like that, or if you or like a, a potion, <laughs> or if you were yes, <laughs> yes. Or if you were like a burrowing snake of some kind, you could just go under it. <laughs> <laughs> or flying bear. Yeah. <laughs> well, speaking of flying bears, this uh, uh, shaman uh, wafts over to you and says, Fear not! We are not like the barbaric cities ruled by the kings on high. You shall face a fair trial for your deeds here in our realm. Who shall speak for you? Oh, God. <laughs> I'm listening to that, man. <laughs> oh, aren't you eager? <laughs> that one! <clears throat> Couple of the halflings run up and pry the gag out of your mouth. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who accuses these invaders? <laughs> Waving your uh, scepter around. He's got such a great charisma score now. Oh, no. (laughs) They killed my brother. They have invaded the forest. What say you to these crimes? We know not of what you speak. Oh, no, no. I have a witness. Someone who is privy to the destruction they have brought on the forest ridge. Give me a perception check. Like the call them, to the tree they burned? <laughs> them or me or everyone? Oh. Sight based? Yes. This one is sight based. Uh, Thirteen. Nine. <clears throat> <laughs> uh, Eleven. Nine. Fourteen. There appears to be some sort of emotion uh, over on this side of the forest. A lot of the halflings are sort of craning or moving around the pyramid over this way in order to try and see what's going on. You guys at the top of the pyramid have a pretty clear view. It seems as though, from out of the forest, one of the trees is, like, waddling forward. He seems kind of banged up and dingy, like maybe he's been recently burned or something like that. A little bit charred. The red-feathered halfling yells, Look! Look what they have done! And the tree simply... You said like the halflings were like moving that way and yes. As a matter of fact, this area is looking pretty bare. And these people are like, oh, say, bare. well, that's like fifty. Oh, so like maybe here. And sure. Here. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'll, can I start? I'll start very carefully moving over this way. Sure. Actually, stopping right about here-ish. Okay. If I can get away with that. Seems relatively unattended. Really Did you turn into a spider? I am not, a snake. Spider. I don't have a snake. You could Sorry. ask. <laughs> Do you have a snake? You can ask. No. <laughs> <laughs> 
That is, this is my substitute snake, because it's small. <laughs> sure. Okay. Snake soap. <clears throat> what say you to this burned tree? I remember this tree. We merely acted in self-defense when it attacked us first. But it lives here. Aren't you invading its home? We're not Have we start nodding and rubbing their chins? Yes, yes, this is a fair point. Yes, yes. Well struck, well struck. We were simply escorting our friends here that you also have uh, bound to their rightful home. Oh, yes! The pink invaders from the west with their pointy pyramids. They do not belong here in the jungle! Telex seems very distressed. I almost got a hair on my nose. <laughs> that was bad. <clears throat> Wait, who said that? The, the red hair, the red feathered? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> he implicitly believes him. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, Marcus is like, you raised a good point, sorry. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> uh, Antario, what are you doing? Uh, I'm watching for now, but I haven't. I'm staying there. And, oh, this, is this still clear? Yeah. Over I here? mean, everyone seems eager to see this walking, screaming tree. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd actually like to follow him if possible. Okay. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. Slither my way through. You can't turn you... into a T Rex and like steal the position. <laughs> 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 well, I no, I can't. Not yet. Not ever. Like actually, bind but... him up in a, yeah, in a yeah, broom yeah. closet <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> We do have that okay. bag. Maybe if we just put that bag on his toe or something, it'll just keep oh going. <laughs> just let the bag go. It'll take care of all the everything. Like all the <laughs> Red Feather waves his newfound scepter, really getting on a roll. They they invaded the home of our ancestors. The city is disturbing its ancient slumber. <sighs> what say you to this? That wasn't us. <laughs> I have no recollection of that. Do you wish to confess? <laughs> Very well. A couple of the halflings scamper up. I will get, go down to my knee. Okay. And say, your eminence, please, I must warn you of some terrible danger that you're, you're facing right now. <gasps> you see, it is not our fault... We did not wish to come to this woods. We are in pursuit, or we are being pursued by a lich. <laughs> <laughs> a lich? What's that? <laughs> it's like it's, it's like, like a, a small kindergarten. kindergarten. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that doesn't sound very dangerous. A lich is something that wants nothing but death and destruction for everyone. <laughs> the tree cries. <laughs> it is that it is this lich that has has wrought this destruction upon this tree, and we we believe that the lich is following us. And I kind of nod to Marcus, us wherever we go. If you remain in the city, it's a very real possibility this lich will come here in exact revenge. <laughs> exact vengeance. <laughs> Exact vengeance on not only us, but you as well. <laughs> the revenge. Are you giving me a, yes, a, a check is, of some kind? I, this is, I guess, bluff. It's bluff or deception, I guess. Uh, <laughs> yeah, deception. It doesn't I guess. sound too far off from the truth. Oh, God. Well, oh, actually, it's not too bad. Um, 14. 14. Well, she seven. seems amused. No. <clears throat> If this lich is as powerful as you say, how is it we have not discovered it here in the forest? But you did, against that tree. What? Surely you've seen mass fireballs scorching the, the your beautiful skies <clears throat> and turning your precious carbon life to dust. Give me another <laughs> uh, check. Oh. <laughs> Dr. Marvin, I don't know. Mar Dr. Marvin. <laughs> uh, I guess persuasion here. Sure. Chemist of Athens. Nineteen. Discovered Nineteen. <laughs> she seems to be listening, but Redfeather waves in. Oh no! He lies. I know. They are aides. I have our, our scouts 
saw the defiler in the ringing mountains casting his black magics. They walked into the forest together. Oh, what a wrinkle. <laughs> Is this so? Marcus will speak up. No, we were taken prisoner by the lich. What this man says is true. Give me a... <laughs> Charisma-based. Charisma-based skill of your choice. <laughs> Give me a strength check. Twelve. Twelve? <laughs> I promised you a fair trial. And yet, all you have done is lie, lie, lie. You shall serve as food for the forest. <laughs> Mark is interrupt. Um. <laughs> oh, <okay>. <laughs> um, <laughs> hold it! Uh, it's it's no no <laughs> Marcus yells very loudly so that everybody around can hear and okay. says, This is no lie! In fact, the lich may be upon you at this very moment. Perhaps <laughs> casting some sort of spell to. <laughs> and then a lightning bolt streaks out towards the horned halfling. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I assume she's very surprised. Probably. <laughs> Lightning bulky damage. Right. Uh, it's a DC 15. It's a DC 15 death. Yeah, yeah. Hey, with dance party. With, maybe with disadvantage if you surprise, I have no idea. Uh, 7, 13. Okay. I like you, Phoenix, right? But. 13, 19, 21, 24. Come on. This is a. F what kind of. 20, 27 lightning damage or 13 if she makes a save. Oh, she is caught off guard, but she's pretty pretty wafty. She manages to just caught on the periphery of it. How much is the uh, half was, damage? Uh, 13. 13, got it. Everyone give me some initiative. <laughs> oh, Visibility God. ends on a... <laughs> yeah, yeah. I did pretty great. I think I'm last. <laughs> <laughs> Get a one. I also got a two. <laughs> Where's my initiative steps? Whatever. Zetas. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Yeah. Antoria. Uh, yet. Uh, that would be a eleven. Eleven. Barrett. Two. Marcus. <laughs> Eight. Marvin. Five. All right. <laughs> I have no dex bonus. <laughs> None at all. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever I roll is what I get. Is that because you're in bear form, or is that or no, no, that's, you're in that's, form? I, it probably is higher than that then, but I don't have stats for it right now. Oh. I'm not going to be a snake for long anyway, so we should not. Time be, to die. Yeah. <laughs> we should not be right. getting stats. They're going there, and then Which we'll just say. Say the halfling horde gets its own initiative. Jeez, some low rolls tonight. How many halflings does each standee represent? Uh, so moving into this, we'll just say that they're individuals. Oh, okay. But there's some respawn points. Word. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of halflings. I just yeah, the halfling does. <laughs> <laughs> also, there's a T Rex. I forgot about the T Rex. <laughs> yeah, T Rex. Um. Well, we'll get started. Zathus. <laughs> um, how hidden am I? You're pretty hidden. Okay. I'm going to take a shot at this guy with my crossbow. And what is that? I have... Hit. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, and then uh, I have my assassinate. I get it. Well, it doesn't matter. I have, it just gives me advantage. So. But hits on surprise creatures are criticals. Yeah! So he is critted.
I double all this damage, yeah? Yeah. You need to roll again, don't you? Huh? <clears throat> you don't double it, you roll yeah, it again. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. So, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Twenty points of damage. Twenty-eight points of damage. All right, your arrow sinks into the base of his skull, and he flops over to the ground and then explodes. <laughs> <clears throat> his fellows, and there's actually like a dozen of them around there, are all shocked and are looking around the jungle trying to see where the shot came from. Okay, I, I, I resume hiding or whatever. Okay, give me another self check. Bonus section. <laughs> Antoria. Forward. All right. Um, fourteen. Thirty. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Drinking a potion, a potion, a bonus action? Yes. Alright, I will drink the potion of climbing. I okay. can't fail stealth uh, 10, 15, 20, yeah. 25, 30, and then I turn, and then Victoria turns and stares at uh, the horned halfling with solid black eyes. DC 15 wisdom save. Oh. She's paralyzed. She cannot ah. move. <laughs> she starts slowly dropping towards the ground. It's quick, Marcus. Stick your sword in. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And Just put your sword on the ground so she like, slides onto it. It's done. Marcus. All right. Marcus will will yell. I told you, the lich is upon us. <laughs> we will attempt to aid you. And he tries to break free of his uh, restraints. Okay. Give me a strength check. Yes. <laughs> yes. Twenty-two. Yes. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. You managed to Hulkamania right out of there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Let <laughs> me nice. tell you something about halflings, brother. <laughs> Start bushwhacking around the friggin' ring. It's like a cage match. It is. <clears throat> uh, the T Rex is actually going to slink around this uh, corner and disappear into the jungle. T Rex out! <laughs> <laughs> T-Rex will be right back after these <laughs> commercial messages. T-Rex ain't having no lich. This is not good. <clears throat> Alright, does the uh, the witch get it to do anything to try and break free of her paralysis? Only at the very end of her turn. Okay. It's another DC-15. The wisdom. end of her turn. Okay, DC-15 wisdom check. Okay. Ah! She free? Mm-hmm. Yep. Right. <laughs> You'll paralyze another flying trick. <laughs> <laughs> out a uh, uh, blowgun and inexplicably through his mask goes <laughs> and shoots a dart in your direction. Okay. What's your AC right now? Uh, 12 can jump to 17 if it would help. Well, he's going to crit if he hits. Uh, I will raise the shield anyway. Okay. Alright. Of course he's going to crit regardless. So. Yes. How much damage? Um, you take three points of damage. <laughs> Vaporized by the shield. <laughs> Barely seems to have noticed. That was a crit? Yes. It's a blowgun needle. <laughs> the, the poison's probably the Yeah, but if you monster. get hit in the eye, like... Then, still, still, then it'll like take a, eight. <laughs> yeah. It's still like a D4 or D3 or something yeah. like that. It is a D4. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Marvin, it's your turn. Me too. Can I... I guess was the lightning bolt apparent enough that I would have known what direction it came from, or do I need to do a perception for that? I mean, it didn't come from the sky, so yeah, you've got you've got to jump. So I can basically, like, I want to say, hey, do I know that running that way is at least where Antoria is? I mean, you can see him from where you're at. Oh, okay. he's on the pyramid. No. Well, I'll, uh, I'll I'll run this way. Now, d- when we're bound, is it our legs at all, or is it just our hands? Your legs are indeed bound. Oh. So it's more like a roll? <laughs> yes. Is this, like, is this like, are you considering this like difficult terrain then? or? Uh, uh, any, we... Well, anything that's not, you're going to try and go down the steps. <laughs> I would say that because you're going down the steps, you could roll down the steps Eight. half your movement speed just as long jump. as you remain prone. I guess you can like jump. Give me, give me an athlete. Well, do you want to hop forward? Do you want to yeah. I mean, make I a figure, running? I like, figure it's like my, my feet are bound like this, right? Yes. So I, okay. mean, I can still kind of hop along. Sure. You yes. Know, like you can move. Ha- yeah, so you can okay. move half your speed. All right. And then, all right, so we'll jump. 
<laughs> is this normal terrain? Yes. Okay. Yeah, the stairs Three. are normal terrain. Please actually hop. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So that's a double move. Okay. And uh, that's give me an athletics me. check. Okay. Uh -oh. And keep your balance. Or acrobatics, I guess. Whichever you prefer. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna matter on uh, that level. Six. <laughs> you fall prone. Where? Just there. Okay. It seems fine. Can I roll the wrong way? <laughs> well, you've already moved. Right, but am I still moving because of gravity? <laughs> well, no, the... No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> They're large steps. <laughs> Curses. All right, the halfling horde is going to go. Um, obvious targets include Marcus and Antoria. What? Um, so I'm on their side. Yeah, now that I'm prone, they can't hit me with their little blowguns. <laughs> All according to plan. <laughs> just like a hundred ah, of, hundreds of blowguns shots just from... Yeah. Everywhere. Um, so what's my AC? Do I... Just your normal AC. Including the armor? Uh, yeah, you're still armored. Okay. Um, cool. Mine's actually 17 until the end of my next turn from the shield. Okay. And it was yours? 18. That's not a deep one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Antoria, one of them gets through. Damage. Two. <laughs> Vaporized. Give me. Oh, all right. <laughs> Never mind. <clears throat> yeah, they. There's a volley, but they all. Ding, 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 ding. Uh, 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 Barrett. Yes. What animal are you today? I am a snake at the moment. <laughs> ah, yes. Um, you think a snake can take stairs? I'm sorry? <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you think a snake can take stairs? Dude, I've fucking seen them. Oh. Yeah, okay. no, without a doubt. Alright. <laughs> yes. 15, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. I'm double moving. 45, 50. Okay. No more minutes. Get it off me! <laughs> 60. That's my total movement. Well, moving through his space is that. No, cool. friends aren't difficult, right? They're not difficult, you okay. just can't end there. No, right, they, they are I'm, difficult, but you're so small, probably yeah. not. <laughs> no, absolutely okay. not. Okay. All right, well then, that's my move. Okay. And I'm not doing anything else for now. Okay. I will assume. <clears throat> Zathus. <clears throat> Guess I'll take another, try another sharpshooter attempt at this one. Sure. I'll try and stay hidden. Because I've been, you know, picking these guys off. Twelve did not hit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Antoria. Alright, uh Antoria will stare at the horned one with solid black eyes again. DC fifteen wisdom save. Mm. <laughs> did it work again? Yes. Oh, she's paralyzed. Awesome. <laughs> Strike her now while she's defenseless. It won't hold long. Marcus! You're done. Marcus is gonna run down five, ten. Snake! 20. Oh, I guess he doesn't count. 15 then. Right up to uh, Marvin and attempt to uh, untie him, free him from his restraints. Okay. Um, that's relatively easy for a trained warrior such as yourself. <sighs> Do something good! <laughs> <laughs> Did you kick a snake? Help children, I guess. <laughs> Maybe. Help children. Help my name, Snoopy. <laughs> Support the local Girl Scouts. <laughs> By the way, I want to know why no one's made like a Thin Mint. That besides like Girl a Dark Scouts. Sun Thin Mint. No, no. It's like, why can't I just go to like H E B and get some fucking Thin Mint? So hmm. It's a conspiracy theory thing. Is it like some they, sort they of control the market? Hollowed ground. We're like, oh, well, we don't want to try to mimic the Thin Mint. Probably would have bad PR consequences. <laughs> if you if people would buy them. Mm. And sell at half the cost. The like, halfling witch. <laughs> Again? Yep. Damn it. Did you say halfling witch? Witch. Oh. Alright. <laughs> witch lich. Witch lich. Yeah, witch lich. 
Uh, this guy uh, charges up the stairs and then back down. This swing. Oh, what? No, 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 no. The red feather hunter. Where do you want me to put him? He's going to run over t- up the stairs and down to where Marcus is okay. and take a swing with a uh, bone maul. What's your AC? 18. 18. You just barely nicks your side. <clears throat> uh, 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 Marvin, it's your turn. All right. So I stand up. That's a move action, right? It is. Okay. And then I, I will say, I will scream out, and this is what I was telling you guys all about when you weren't listening, but I know Marcus was listening, so <laughs> thanks for listening, Marcus. And then I, I, uh, I, I, start, I start to summon from, from like, <laughs> the, the ether, just, like, things start popping into existence, and six orbs are orbiting me. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Excellent. Okay. Who was that? Oh, uh, Okay. No, I get what you're doing. It's a callback. <laughs> mm-hmm. oh, your speech. Okay. Yeah. I thought yeah, you were talking yeah, about yeah. the thing you yeah. did from childhood. Yeah. yeah. I was paying attention. Yeah. So, no, anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry to interrupt. No, Jeez. I, God, don't ever do that again. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Halflings um, cower. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then two of the uh, two of them actually go shooting out <clears throat> at uh, this character right there. Mm-hmm. And you see an explosion within five, uh, basically everything around five uh, meters. Um, so it's 2d6 per meteor, and it's a DC 16 dex save. Ugh. You're definitely gonna hit a lot. Uh, so that's eight, 14 points of fire damage. Ah. And do you want me to roll for wild magic? I or? do. Fireball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Nope. All right. Uh, halflings are going. They're gonna um, toss some more blow darts in the direction of Marcus. You sound what? You hear what sounds like one of them accidentally shooting themselves in the foot. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Marvin, one of them manages to ping. Actually, two of them manage to ping you. A shield appears around Marvin. He has Ooh. no shield. Whoa. Nice. Oh. Impressive. Cause that, uh, Good job, Marvin. Because I, I, I would have had a, had a concentration check for any concentration spells. Right? Uh, as long as you don't actually take damage through it, we'll see how much right. damage it is. I'm saying okay. if, for I now, did, if yeah. I did take damage, I'd have to pass that. Okay. Yeah. But do I need to give you a damage total? Oh, yeah, you do. Definitely. Four. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, a purple, an orange and purple shield that evaporates both flow darts. It looks like the one you've seen around Emporia many, many times. Which? <laughs> you feel an icy cold. Back, it was me the, all along. I <laughs> like the purple being threaded through it. It usually is solid orange, but okay. it's had purple threading lately. <laughs> I'm sure it doesn't mean anything. I wonder why. Barrett. All right. I'm going to shift back to Barrett, who's over here dead, apparently. <laughs> um, we're kind of in the same spot, so I guess I just need to move or something. Because I'm, I'm a tiny just creature. Just a spot yeah. next to him. Well, your guess. collisions just... <laughs> <laughs> he just gets knocked out of the world, right? Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's, under, he's under the train now. <laughs> Bad physics engine. Thanks, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, reset, <Yeah>. reset. <laughs> and um, Going back to tier. <laughs> he's going to do something he didn't get to do on the Lich, because the Lich fucking canceled it. Spirits, heed my call! And he's going to summon a bear. Over here. Is she? Wait, actually, she's flying. Fifteen she's feet flying. Up here. Which one's okay. the real one? She's gonna do it. He's gonna do it here then. Wow. <laughs> and a sand claw is gonna pop up from the ground and appear. <laughs> the angry bear. Sand claw? Their bears are in dark center claws. Oh, yeah. okay. claw. 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 Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I could have said bear like I normally did. Yeah, it's like a bear just made of sand. Whoa. <clears throat> kind That's of. Different. Yeah. <sighs> it's a tougher bear. Is there anything else going on? Um, I think the bear goes after my turn. Okay. It just drops an initiative after me, so I guess should I just do that real quick? Do that right now. Yeah. Do some bear things. The bear is Clark. going to... Clar is going to claw and bite <laughs> at the... Uh, <laughs> Get out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to miss. Uh... A 12 doesn't hit, right? No, it absolutely okay. does not. This is both, both attacks. Okay. Say this. All right. Pop back up. Take another shot. Okay. <laughs> uh, did I miss? Hmm? 
I missed. Answer it. I rolled a three. Got it. Victoria's eyes turn black again, and he glares at the witch further. DC 15 wisdom save. No! Sick of this! (laughs) (laughs) Then he turns his gaze to the hunter and glares at him as well. Another DC 15 wisdom save. (laughs) One's on both of them. (laughs) Oh my god. (laughs) Alright, they are both paralyzed. Kill them this time! (laughs) <laughs> now, does that reduce their AC at all? Uh, you have advantage on attacks, and if you attack from within five feet, it auto crits on a hit. They are or ridiculously funny. Uh, yeah. Within oh, five feet. Ma- it's yes. gotta be melee, not spells. Uh, it, it just has to be within five feet. A spell or a ranged attack will oh, crit okay. them within five feet. Alright. Wow. wow. Marcus. <laughs> um, what is the, what's the red feathered warrior? What's, what is he wielding? He's, wear, he's, he's wielding a really impressive looking uh, gold scepter. And a bone maul. Okay. I would like to see an attempt to steal the maul from him. Okay. Give me a... The auto fails strength saves if it matters. Um, and deck saves. Sure. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. You just pull it out of his hand. All right. <laughs> okay. Can I attack him with it? Sure. Sweet. You get advantage and any hit is a critical. You don't even have to consult your... I have to roll like a... <laughs> Yeah, 23. That hits. Yeah, I'm crits. Okay. What's the, what are we talking damage on here? On the mall. <laughs> oh, that's going to be a 1d12, as a matter of fact. Okay. Oh, a 12. 1d12. Oh, nice. <laughs> um, if it's just, uh, there's no bonus to it or anything, then it's 16 damage. 16 damage. Yeah. Well, all right, as a crit. D12, you crit. You, crit. you double roll. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I was going to say, a 16 crit is not so great. Yeah. Yeah. 19. <laughs> <laughs> Much better. Hey, Bill. Would you grab me some more coffee? Sure. Thanks. Oh, yeah, the... Yeah, yeah, it's just the die, not stuff. the other ones. Yep. 19. What 19! Still none too happy about the situation. Does he get a save? Yeah, they both get saves at the end of just their turn. Just at their turn. Okay. Yeah, only at the end of their turn. Okay. <laughs> How many times have you used that? Uh, I'm using all of my spell slots on it. I've okay. almost burned everything. That thing's ridiculously <laughs> powerful. Well, this... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Well, it is hold person. Yeah, if there's sugar work, they sitting out, then yeah. Halflings, or other humanoids. Oh, right, right. Hold monsters like so, Like a crocodile, maybe. Yeah, that, that, that <laughs> thing, nah, can't do it. <laughs> the T-Rex reappears from out of the jungle. Oh, that's the T-Rex there? It is, yeah. Okay. I said it was bigger. <clears throat> and snaps at you, but... <laughs> seems to have bit its tongue. But <laughs> it's, its arms are too short to take care of it. <laughs> And on the other side of the pyramid, the tree just screams, (laughs) I will never be avenged. Okay, so both of them get saves. Yep. Both of them are free. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Marvin? Um, I want to get out of this. Um, I did not see any sugar, sorry. That's fine. I will move, and I guess this, I'm not disengaging, so. Okay. I just want to move, like, what? right what? there. Yeah, What's your AC? Back. 14. Uh, 14. Okay. He's going to get you with an attack of opportunity, then. <clears throat> you take seven points of snappy damage. I'm immune to snappy damage. Oh, well, damn it. <laughs> I'll know better next time. He reflects uh, off his blueness. I will, uh... Who's got my scepter? Red feather guy. It's a red feather guy. Oh, but everyone is... He's no longer paralyzed either, unfortunately. Yeah. Got himself free. I will, uh, I'll use my Tides of Chaos to get, it, uh, I'm gonna use Scorching Ray. And okay. use Tides of Chaos to get advantage on one of those. That sounds good. That will hit. 27. Or 27 absolutely yeah. hits. Alright, so let me keep a running total damage here. Which guy is this on? Red Feather. Got it. One, uh, that'll probably hit uh, 25. 25 hits. And then the third one, um, 17? 17 does not hit. <clears throat> and then I will use my bonus action to hurl. I'll tell you the damage on that in a yeah. second. I'll hurl two meteors. At this guy right there. That's a lady. <laughs> You're the going witch to propose lich. marriage. 
So the first one uh, is nine. Again, this is DC 16. I think you get two saves for each one. A, a save for each one, so two total. Right, okay. Well, that one doesn't hit. Oh, wait, this is just straight up it's damage? It's just straight up hits. Okay. Okay, well, I'm not both rolling hits, that die anymore. Failed both. Failed both, yes. All right, so total is 10, 15 da fire damage to this one. Okay. And then 15 fire damage to this one. It's handy. Do you want me to roll wild magic? <clears throat> yes. Aren't we all standing around that one? I crit. Yes. Nice. Uh, no, I, I did the one... Oh. I did the Scorching Ray on this oh, one, the okay, AoE sorry. on that one. Yep. I'm not trying to kill you guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this actually. That's, actually. Uh, <laughs> this that's, that's all I got. <clears throat> it's only oh, you have to critically movie. miss. Yes, critically miss. Man, that's unfortunate. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, 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 okay, the halflings, um, the halflings have started to back off from that area, considering that they seem to keep getting sniped. <laughs> Where do you want them to go? <laughs> um, they're just going to climb up the steps. Can do. Okay. Um, we've got many, many dozens sort of rallying around, charging forward and shooting out with the uh, blow darts. These are at Marcus. Ding, 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 ding. One hits. Um, these are at Antoria. One crits. Okay. Single digits. <laughs> yeah. Three points. From both the Marcus one and mine? Oh, his was just one. Okay. Oh, yeah. Field absorbed both. Yours is three. Yeah. <laughs> and these are at Marvin. Shoot, we'll both yep. um, wow. Reaction lets it take it for somebody else. It this is going to be two them. hits unless something else happens. Only one reaction at yeah. <laughs> Oh. You take seven points of damage. So I forgot to do concentration when I took the attack of opportunity. Oh. But let's say it's a DC 10 check. Let, let's say that I, because I can use it as a bonus action. Let's say that I cast him before I moved. That's fine. Are you fine with yeah, that? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. But now I have to do a concentration check. Well, then go for it. So it's just. Do you have DC, to do two. Is it? How does that? Is it per separate damage roll? Per or? Yeah, every okay. hit. All right. So what's the DC 10? What's my? Uh, it depends on the damage, but usually it's DC 10 unless the damage is over 20 in a DC single DC 10 hit. versus what, though? It's uh, con. Oh, it's okay. a con that, save. That yeah. pretty easy. So the first one that yeah. passes, second one that passes. Too. All right. Barret. All right. Uh, I'm going to order my bear to attack the witch, so he's going to do that. Okay. I guess he can attack opportunity when he leaves. He's unarmed. <laughs> but <laughs> if he Stupid wants to. Stupid bear. He's yeah. there. Yeah, I, I no, he's not really paying much attention to the bear. Okay, then the bear's gonna go for her. Okay. Well, actually, on his turn, he's gonna go for. Her. Sorry, I, the whole turn thing is a little weird. I'm gonna. No, shift. it's just one then the other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty easy. I myself am also gonna shift into a sand clar as well. So there's two sand clars what? now. Weird. Yeah, it's crazy. It's bear claws. And. Which one did we shoot? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna light blue will be the claws. I'm gonna attack the red feather. Okay. Natural crit. Wow. And a fail. Wow. 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 A one in a twenty. Well. Uh, claws crit. You bit through a skull into your tongue. Uh, let's do the crit first, I guess. Then. Yes. Um, unless a twenty-seven misses him out, a crit misses him out. Does hit. Okay. Uh, plus this. Do I add? I only add my strength once, right? Uh, yeah, you don't have double strength. Once. So it's only 18 damage. So not that bad. It's magic damage, if that matters. Okay. Magic bears. Yeah, uh, all my damage is magic now in shapeshift forms. And the fumble uh, is critical failure. 12. 12. Your weapon is flung. Um, we'll just say you fall prone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too zealous. Not, in my not, not used to this form. You're over, overdoing it. <laughs> All right, now, All right. now your pet goes. All right, and then my pet's going to do what he was commanded to. Okay. He's going to attack her. Uh, okay, same give thing me an uh, athletics check. Oh, sure. Uh, he's not a circus bear. <laughs> circus floor. Four. Okay, well, he's not. he tries to jump up into the air, but he doesn't really quite make it. Okay. Unless he's got a ranged attack that I don't know about. <laughs> He's made of sand. He shoots mm. like sand out of himself. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I 
I thought she might have been ground. Yeah, okay. she's That's 15 fine, feet up in the air. That's fine. <laughs> and actually, she's 15 feet up from where she is, so she's actually like 45 feet from what? sea Sweet level. Ground. Sweet. Sea level. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Zathus. Um. All right. Let's see. There's still a couple of targets sitting around here, but it's looking pretty bare. Ah. Oh no, no! <laughs> yes! Uh, yes! Uh, yes. <laughs> it's looking pretty. Yeah. Given Slim pickings. Alright. Um, I guess. Let's see. I'll. I can use these squares. 5, 10, 15, 30. Come to the bottom of the ziggurat, and I'll take a okay. shot at these guys standing up here. That dice is no longer being rolled. Intoria. <laughs> Retired. Intoria bleeding a little bit from the nose. His eyes turn black again Five, as he stares at both of them one more time. You oh, see 15 man. wisdom oh, saves for both again. Nothing. They're both paralyzed? Yeah. Alright. Oh my gosh. You are like the, <laughs> you are the best staring cop. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the bleeding from the nose. I imagine seat. that each time it's just like surprised hamsters or dramatic hamsters. <laughs> <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Yeah, he's definitely bleeding a bit from the nose after that one, but that's my turn. Uh, uh, Marcus? I will slam oh, that club into its owner's face. Well, he's bringing that. With the roll. 21. 21 will hit. Uh, Does it crit? Uh, yeah, oh yeah, it'd be paralyzed. He's paralyzed. Yeah! It's a crit. Auto crit. <laughs> oh, sweet. Um. Uh, I'm not using a great weapon. Oh, okay. 19 damage. 19? God! Um. Wait a minute. Yes. I can double attack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Double, double, double crit. <laughs> I guess. That's another crit. Yeah. <laughs> That's paralyzed. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I hope the other one's better than that. You need some better than 12s. Uh, the total is 13. Ah. <laughs> 13 and 18. 13 and 19. 19, sorry. 32? So, yeah, 32 total. Uh, the T-Rex snaps its jaws at you, Marcus. Great! Bring it on. I will. <laughs> he, also, he also crits and then fails. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, first, um... I don't want to like going around. Part of the deal. So, you take 14 points of damage as he grabs you in his jaws and lifts you up off the ground, but overdoes a little bit and drops you as he staggers back. <laughs> Where do you want him to drop? Uh, just a space back from where he was. Okay, so like here. Yeah. Is he prone? He's or? prone, but he's not. You don't take any falling damage. Yeah. It was pretty quick. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, everybody. The All right, long. these guys are gonna try and uh, break free. Uh, no, I've awkwardly rolled the same for both of them each time that I roll a d20. All right, like stuck. both both d20s, the exact same number. It's weird. That's a lot of damage. Marvin, break out the dinner plate. Oh, no. Oh, oh there, it's right there. Yes. Yeah, they auto, they auto fail deck saves. Just go for it. <laughs> they're just sitting ducks. No one important is there. Well, there is. Poor Sandbear. I think we'll be making a concentration uh, check in the near future. What's that there? Way? Oh. So that hits everyone I want? Yep. Yeah, well, looks like. And it's laying on top of it. Well, then. Oh, I cast Fireball. <laughs> <laughs> he was just checking the size. Did you know? <laughs> well, that was a really, I mean, pretty good except for these guys. 32, and then half for 16. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait. 
Can they even make dex checks? No, the paralyzed no, ones auto fail. The others in okay. the range do make saves. All right, so what's the full damage? 32, 32. and 16. Yeah. All right. So I got to make a... We'll do Barrett first. Uh, I think he passed this. What was it? He got him out of range. Uh, six, <laughs> DC 16 dex. Uh, yeah, he passes him. That's a save, right? So he gets plus one, so... All right. Yeah. And <laughs> Sand Bear... Sand Bear fails. That's fine. Concentration check at DC 10. Right. That should be easy and All terrible. right. Uh, the red feathered made... hunter goes up like a cinder. <laughs> I made my right. con check. Like a candle with its entire wick just lit on flame. Can I flame. Walk His over... skin just melts away. <laughs> okay. His Can mask I... and the scepter just clatter to the can I walk stone over steps. And pick it up as a move action. <laughs> Which? The scepter. Yes, you can. Okay, that's as a move action, right? Yes. Okay. I will do that. You say something cool. <laughs> Your toast. <laughs> so no. <laughs> I said I wanted my meals blackened, not charred. <laughs> yeah, okay. Out of the frying pan into the fire. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. All right. Crispy. <laughs> Toasty. <laughs> I got nothing else. <laughs> uh, so can I recharge my tides of chaos? Yes, you may. The cost of wild magic. That's pretty good. So you also right. like. Maybe a good uh, 20 or 30 halflings on fire, which intimidates uh, a number of the re remainder of them, but there are still I, I quite, also, quite a horde. Well, I will also... Um, are yeah. these all still up? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to... These guys right here, I'm going to put two meteors on them. Okay. So it's a five-foot radius, so it basically hits everything if I do it here. So you'll take it out another chunk of them. Right, okay. So first one... Is ten points. Okay. Uh, Still up. Again, sixteen decks for half. Sure. And then the second one is five more points. Okay. And the meteors are now gone. Okay. I mean, those, finally. Those ones are uh, bruised up, but still standing. Okay. Yeah. Finally, my wild magic. Uh, Thirteen. Potted plant. Potted plant. <laughs> <laughs> Fireball? No, oh, I man. cast Confusion centered on myself. Yeah! Oh, <laughs> What's the radius for that? that? It's a big radius. I've got oh. it. You've got Do it. You really oh, man. <laughs> I'll look up Confusion so everyone knows what's going on. Oh, man. We're going to have to kill each other. Oh, no. How? This is so confusing. It's a 10 Why radius sphere, so actually it's not that big. Oh. It's actually, in fact, only going to be me and you, I think. Well, oh, maybe, really? and maybe me. these guys. I'll be, because I'm here. Yeah, ten foot, it's the four of us. So it's a... <laughs> yeah, that's why it's so bad. Awesome. It's a wisdom save for yeah. the four of us. Okay. If you're affected, your turns become very strange. Uh, oh, great. Yeah, okay. great. Was it DC, what's the wisdom? Uh, since it's him, DC 16, I'm assuming. Now, yeah. can I, I can, I can confuse myself then too, right? Uh, yeah, I guess so. What's the, uh, what's your, what's your, um, 16 was what it was earlier? Versus wisdom? Yeah. yeah. Is 16, is a wisdom save. 16! Wait, do I have to, nope. Is a tie okay? A tie save? Yes, a tie is a save, yes. yes. 12. So minus one. I'm not confused. I'm confused. I am also confused. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, you guys are gonna gang up and kill me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm confused. <laughs> oh wait, um. So what's going on? Who who got closest to sixteen? I mean, who got like within one or two? Uh, I wasn't even. Really I right. was at twelve. He, he made it. Yeah. He was within okay. tied. Because I can use my bend luck to try to push you over sixteen, but I, it's a only a one d four. Yeah. yeah. So just, that's yeah. I'd save it. All right. So. If you rolled a four, I would save, but. Yeah, I would say. Yeah. So what's going on? Yeah. Uh, three of us are confused. <laughs> and what does confusion do? Sorry. Uh, was... at, let's see. An affected target cannot take reactions and must roll d10 at the start of each of their turns to determine their behavior. Oh god. On a one, <laughs> you use all your movement to move in a random direction. Yeah. You don't take an action that turn. Two to six, you just don't do anything. Seven to eight, you use your action to make a melee attack against a random creature within your reach. 
If there's no creature in reach, you do nothing. Nine and ten, you do whatever you want. Yeah. Uh, oh, so you make no... another save every at the end of each. So there's turn. nothing like use your spells to attack out. No, no, it's not that. Bad. Use all your <laughs> highest level spells. It's, it's, so, I mean, I think you guys, you guys have been saved from me, basically. Maybe. We'll <laughs> at last. Yeah. yeah, we'll see. All right, some blow darts are coming in. Um, Marvin, you're not only getting hits. You're dead. You're, you're hit four <laughs> four times. One of them crits. So this might go into the double digits. What? Concentration. I mean, I'm done, is, I don't. Yeah. Well, confusion um, is normally concentration. Are we saying? Are we just assuming it's not for a wild magic effect since he isn't directly controlling it? Uh, yes. Okay. I'd say so. Okay. In that case, it lasts a minute. Oof. Well, you'll make well, you'll make I'll, the save I'll, probably. Yeah. I mean, I just you're rolled. gonna take twelve. Excuse me. 14 total. And that's four. Do you have anything that you have to concentrate on right now? No. Okay, so yeah, 14 I've got damage. A plus six to it, but I rolled a five, so. <laughs> or, Antoria, you've got incoming. Okay. Does an 18 hit you? Yep. Three. Three blow dart. The shield exactly cancels it out before fading out for what feels like the last time. You've lost shields. Is that a reaction? <laughs> the okay. shield on me is not a reaction. Okay. I can't do it for anyone else now, though. So. I will destroy you! <laughs> Mass Effect. Yeah. Uh, 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 Barrett. Alright, I'm confused. Let's see what happens. What'd you roll? Eight. Uh, you will attack yeah. a random creature in range. Sweet, yeah. but I'm prone. How does that... You attack you a random just creature attack. in range with disadvantage. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're Full confused. attack? You're, uh... Or one attack. Is this you? Oh, yeah, yeah. So you're just attacking. Because I, I normally get two attacks. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, I'm looking. I think, I think you would just do what you would normally do. Okay. Yeah, just do your attack. Probably, yeah. So, Marvin? Yeah, use your action to make a melee attack. Hey! Hey! With disadvantage. Oh, like Blueby Claws. Um, oh, you need to do... Disadvantage? With disadvantage. Yeah. Oh, dis... Yeah, because you're prone. Shoot. Um, <laughs> that's for that one. Probably missed so the nine. nine, and that's for that one. No god. No, <laughs> so good. still six, then. So six and um, what's the totals? Twelve and fourteen or higher. Thirteen. Nope. So. All right. All right. I miss. Do you get to save at the end of your turn? You do. Yes. You see sixteen wisdom. Nope. Uh, <laughs> do I stand? Oh, bad inspiration. Guess not. Not if you're busy attacking things yeah, just, in a state of confusion. All right. You can't do anything else anyway after you. Done a confused one. Okay. Uh, so oh, oh, trance. sorry. Hold on. My other bear. He's not Do confused. Have... Does he just attack on his own? Yeah. He, okay. He would follow his last order. I okay. I don't know if that affects my concentration check. It doesn't say it does. So. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, clear can be the claws. I'm still not clear how he's attacking that target. Oh. Acrobatics. <laughs> yeah. I guess I he's still it. trying. That was the last order he got. Yeah. He's just going to keep trying until he dies, or... <laughs> I mean, you're going to have to score really high to leap 15 feet up into the air. Um, he's a bear. She's, she's paralyzed. Smart. Is she strength <laughs> sinking or anything, or is she... She's oh. not. Okay, no. cool. Okay. Well, he got a... Uh, I don't know what his acrobatics would be. Is it just dex straight just up? Just dex, he has no listing for it. 16. No. Okay. okay. You're looking for, like, a 30. Okay. <laughs> That's never gonna happen. <clears throat> Alright. Say this. Okay. Uh, yes. I thought she was getting grounded. No, she sunk a little bit, but she didn't. Um, okay. Let's see, maybe. We'll just keep confusion open. It's gonna be relevant in the yeah. a few times in our future, I think. It was a 14 hit. Uh, it does. Yes, yes, it does. Seven points of damage. Okay. Uh, give me a perception check. Sight based? Yes. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> the hills have eyes. Why don't you? Uh, perception 16. There is some big, big commotion going on in the jungle behind you. It looks like maybe there's some more big animals coming to join the fray. All right. <clears throat> Anything else? Cast fireball? I guess I still have my. I haven't used my bonus action or whatever my. Uh, disengage. <laughs> it's a disengage, but I can also use it to dash, hide, whatever. Sure. So I'm going to. There's like a dozen halflings up there, mind. 
Okay. <laughs> just the ones well, that you can see up those stairs. Right here, but they're all at the top, yeah? Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna get closer. Okay. Antoria! Alright, I will make my confusion Pretend roll. to be one of them. Yeah. It's just go squat down. down. <laughs> confusion result is a seven. I will make a melee attack on a random target. That will either be Marcus or uh, Marvin. Go for Marcus, he's the one that's on the ground. Mm. Wait. Roll for it. Yeah. Uh, one through five, blue guy. Six through ten, uh, big guy. Uh, blue guy. No. Dorian <laughs> uh, draws his dagger. I'm really getting a taste of my own medicine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're not prone or anything, right? No. Okay, cool. It's just a normal attack. Uh, I think a 20 hits, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That will be uh, three damage. Not very sad. <laughs> no, it's a lot, not, not nearly as bad as the time breaks out, man. That's the end of my turn. Saves? Oh, yes, I do. It'd <laughs> be a good thing to do. Benevolent DM is benevolent. Nope. Not quite. Marcus. Yeah, confusion club. Mm, Marcus <laughs> will stand up. Okay. Um, can I reach the T-Rex? Sure. For an attack? Yeah. We'll try and bash it <laughs> in the face. Bash it in the face with this maul. Which I have a whole monster about now. <laughs> um, oh. Yeah, two attacks. Sure. Ah! 14. Mm -mm. 18. Mm -mm. Smack it right in the snout. Oh, oh nice. Uh, 17, 20 damage. <laughs> Flinches and stomps backwards <laughs> into the... <laughs> the jungle once again. Sorry, I know you're T-Rex, right, but sorry. <laughs> you ate me. <laughs> uh, the witch is going to try and make another save. No. She's paralyzed. She's got so many cool things she can do. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nope. she, she's Just like all the best NPCs, she's completely locked down. Falling, falling yeah. from the sky. What? Falling from the sky? She's not. No, not at all. <laughs> like, she's not. No. Okay. <laughs> just sorry. Not. All right. <clears throat> <clears throat> uh, Marvin, are you confused? confused? Yes, I am. Yep. Might be ten. Five. You do five, nothing. Do nothing. Except make a save, I guess. Yeah, you can oh, yes. save. Uh, yes. That looks promising. No. Nope. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have to roll very high. <laughs> I have to roll seventeen. Jeez. Oof. <laughs> I only need an 11, uh, not an 11, uh, I need a 13. <laughs> uh, some blood arts coming at Marcus. Two hits. Um, most of the rest of them seem pretty entertained by the fact that you guys are now in fighting. There's <laughs> <laughs> Two points of damage. <laughs> that was a good groan. Barret! Alright. Uh, I'm like doing this thing where I'm running around on the ground, biting and clawing everything around me, so. Confusion check? Yeah, let's do that first. Well, that's uh, three. Three, uh. Might be that is. My, uh, you do nothing. Make a save, and that's it. Woohoo! Uh, I saved You're just sort of sunning yourself. I got, a tw I got a 20 this time, so yeah, I'm, you're out, I'm out of it. Uh. Okay. Pet? Um, yes, pet. Do you think the pet could figure out that it can't attack her and maybe start climbing up to get higher to jump at her? Sure. All right. <laughs> I guess a climb check? Well, they have a climb speed, so... All right. He can just auto-climb, right? Sure. Um, I don't know if that helps or not, what I'm rolling for another athletics check. That puts check. her five, five feet higher. All right. Another athletics check. Not great. Eleven! No. Okay. <laughs> Was it just leaping out at her yeah, and now it's guess. underneath her? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> she laughs as best as she can through a rictus grin. <laughs> Save us. All right. Uh, now Managed to blend in with this diminu <laughs> diminutive crowd. <laughs> and see what they've got in their pockets. It's just dirt. <laughs> it's just dirt. They just got pockets full of dirt. I just want to stab them all in the throat. Um, I guess I'm just going to start attacking them. Okay. Natural one. <laughs> Critical failure! <Yeah! laughs> <laughs> Where's my Phoenix Wright music? Well, too late. <laughs> Eleven. 
11, you fall prone. Alright. You fall into the crowd. <laughs> 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 He's not one of us. Sure I am. Look how close <laughs> to the ground I am. Critical hit! Not quite. Antoria! Yeah, critical hit. Oh, it's confused. Yeah. Damn it. And stabs at uh, <laughs> one of his neighbors again. Yeah, yeah. Blue guy on 1 through 5, Mark, big guy on 6 through 10. I uh, stabbed Mark again. Yeah. <laughs> like he's not actually that confused. <laughs> <laughs> he attacks In fact, rolls. his purpose has never been uh, more clear. You might miss this one to 12. That does miss. Pull, I get my dice. Alright, he falls a little short. Where's your die? And oh, I'll make a save door. against confusion. Okay. Uh, he snaps out of it easily. Alright. Alright, that's the end of my turn, though. Yes, yeah, so he snapped out of it several turns ago. Yeah. <laughs> Marcus! Easily. Um, okay, so T Rex is out of range yeah. now. Oh, he did scamper off. Okay. Yep. They're all, oh, is he out of view? Yes. He's in, okay. he's in, the, he's in the dense force. Uh, do I know where my equipment is? Oh, they just stashed it up on top of the space up there with you. You're able to, it's like sitting like next to the bound Terrans. Like, oh, crap. Here. Should have asked that sooner. <laughs> here. Bubble uh, Fett. <laughs> Bubble Fett can be a marker for you. There you go. Um, what? What is that? It's a Bubble Fett. My equipment. All right, fine. My immersion. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> then, here, here's a, a spectral lich. How's there, that? good, great. Go. Well, let's see here. Uh, <laughs> right here, here's and the telek mini. made his transformation. Okay. Just tell it. I like to try and move up there and then pick up my sword. Okay. You pick up your sword. And then presumably I'm in the range of some hobbits. Yes. <laughs> All right. <coughs> uh, I will take a swing at the hobbits with my delicious, delicious great sword that I missed so dearly. Natural 20! Nice. <laughs> <laughs> this topic's gonna explode. Concerning yes. hobbits. <laughs> and a 20. Yeah. And a 26. <laughs> Frodo! Frodo, no! Ah, oh, that'd be a much ver better version of that scene. If Frodo's laying in bed and everyone walks into the room and every one of them explodes in a viscera as soon as they come in. <laughs> Or it's like excellent. pouring the room all in slow motion too, like <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good stuff. Yeah, that's gonna be like forty damage. Spectacular. Uh uh, uh she's Do you wanna Yes. Remove that group? No. Oh wow. No, there's still like a hundred of these things at least wow. surrounding you guys. Damn. The queen finally manages. <laughs> Marvin, your turn. I do nothing this turn, and I'm still confused. Alas! <laughs> All right, some of the halflings are gonna swing uh, some tiny clubs at you, Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> One crits. <laughs> right in the knees. <clears throat> yeah, right. <laughs> Your kneecap turns inside out. My bad knee. <laughs> you take 15 points of damage to the Holy kneecap. Shit. Oh. <laughs> Did he have the T Rex on the end of his boulder? <laughs> just a tiny little skull yeah, just sticking out of the end of it. Watch the tape later if you don't believe me. Alright. The, um,. San Clara is going to get some blow darts Sweet. sent in its direction. One hit, it's going to take four points of damage. It's still up. <laughs> it, it did take 32 earlier. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not for me. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and it's your turn, Barrett. All right. I'm going to bear up. And I'm assuming I can order the bear around still because I'm also a bear. I don't know how that works. It's probably mental. Yeah, okay. So, so I'm going we'll, we'll go to order to, to attack the halflings. Sure. And then I'm going to I would prefer them. it if you guys played the exact same animations at the exact same time. <laughs> 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 okay. Um, and then I'm going to... I guess I can't... She's still floating, like... Where is she? Like 45 feet in the air or something like that? Or? Above sea level, yes. Okay. So she's <laughs> above sea level. All right. I can't... So I can't, this... From the step that she's over, she's 15 feet above that. Okay. I can't handle sea level, so okay. I'm gonna go attack these halflings then. 
Um, worth noting, that's flat with the very top of the pyramid. So you're saying I could like jump from the well if you can potentially. jump. All right, I'm a bear. I can't feet jump. Out. I can't do that. No, not so, at all. All right, I'm gonna go attack some mountains. Go there. Light blue can be the claw. Fucking fumbles all over the place. <laughs> uh, the other one, the bite might not fumble. Uh, does a um, 19 hit? It does. Okay. Bite hits. Then. Okay. Uh, four, nine damage. All right, you tear a halfling apart. Yay! <laughs> Give me your fumble. Should it be like one halfling or the group? Uh, it's not worth pulling them <laughs> off. Okay. All right. And then the fumble. many dozens remain to take their place. I'm, I'm keeping roll... track of how many of them die. But... Why do I roll the die that failed me in the first place? Seven. I... Uh, seven, <laughs> you uh, over-exaggerate your blow and move one square. That's not the right die. Um, Good thing I'm in the center. Uh, you stumble that way, Ooh. stomping onto Zethus. <laughs> 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 Alright, and then... Um, you know, you don't get trampled or anything, okay, it's just yeah. funny. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't actually move into your square, I think you're actually like right like here or something. Pet's turn. Yeah. Anyway, bear's turn. Um, Try the jumping leap from five feet higher. No, I, I ordered him. I ordered him to attack the halflings. Oh, okay. okay. So, is this a jump up or the nope, stairs? That's okay. the same level. All right, then he's gonna bite and claw some halflings. Um, I'm pretty sure the claws miss, but the bite will probably hit. Uh, does a twenty set? Uh, twenty two hit. It does. So, twenty two. For nine damage. <clears throat> All right. All right. Yeah. That's it. <clears throat> uh, everyone, give me a perception check. Me too. Yes. Sight Not sight base. <laughs> Eight, one, twelve. Uh, Fourteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Fifteen. Oh, you guys are supposed to get sixteen. Sorry. Eight. Ten, twelve, fourteen. I failed. This is the worst band I've ever been a part of. I quit. <laughs> <clears throat> um. You guys uh, hear not drums, but do you see water rippling? <laughs> <laughs> do you hear, uh, no, no, you don't. Valkyries? <laughs> <laughs> no, this is that would be awesome. Something different coming from uh, a, off to the west. How about heavenly divine? This is the west. <laughs> you hear that one? That's the east. Oh, so this one. That's the east. Okay, so this, this is, is the west. west. Friendly land. Okay. Yes. Okay. When I and I had heard or seen <clears throat> previously, I'd seen. You'd heard. You'd heard. seen just the uh, foliage. The foliage of uh, uh, the jungle moving, okay. as though there was something there immediately. Yeah. This more sounds like something is approaching. Okay. Zay, this is your turn. Seems like we may be surrounded again. He gets up. Like, we're in the middle of like halfling temple. Yeah, and uh, starts trying to attack some other, some of these other halflings. All right, finally I might actually freaking hit something. Uh, Nineteen works here. Nineteen hits. All right, and I guess halflings explode. That one there, yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 19 <coughs> points of damage. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Uh, bonus action to disengage a little bit further down Kay. the steps. Interio. All right. Uh, the mask is still laying here, right? It is. I will, as I move by, can I pick it up as a bonus action? Just sure. Snatch it up? Yeah. Uh, snatch it up. I will move here, still with the potion of climbing, so I assume none of this is a big deal. Sure. How long does that last? Uh, yeah. One hour. Oh, nice. All right. And I will blast her with a uh, small burst of black thunder and lightning. Got it. Uh, DC 15 uh, con save. <laughs> I give up at rolling dice. <laughs> All right. uh, the damage will be... Someone else is Dungeon Master now. <laughs> uh, 13 damage, 6 if she saved. And she gets pushed 10 feet. Oh. <laughs> uh, Looks like she's blasting off again. Yeah. <laughs> like here? Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's the direction he was facing, I guess. Yep, yep. Alright. Uh, that is my turn. 
So Marcus. Marcus will grab his crossbow from the stash of equipment and <clears throat> take aim at the floating halfling shaman lady. Sounds good. Uh, oh, oh, I have a bow. Sorry, it's not a crossbow. 